Good morning. We're um, studying the book of Judges today and we're sitting under this palm tree because we wanted to talk about one of the judges of Israel who uh, used, used a, a palm tree for her counselling and adjudication. The book of Judges is, is a story of how Israel managed soon after it moved into the land of Canaan to sort out some of its difficulties. They appointed judges. In fact, over time they appointed 13 judges, including people like Gideon and Samson. But today we want to talk about Deborah. And uh, we're reading out of the book of Judges from chapter 4. The Israelites once again did evil in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord sold them into the hands of Jabin, a king of Canaan, who reigned in Hazor. The commander of his army was Sisera, who lived in Harasheth. And because he had 900 iron chariots and he had cruelly oppressed the Israelites for 20 years, they cried to the Lord for help. Now Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapindoth, was leading Israel at the time. She held court under the palm of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. And the Israelites came to her to have their disputes decided. We'll get Pauline to carry on. She sent for Barak, son of Abinoam, from Kadesh in Naphtali, and said to him, The Lord, the God of Israel, commands you, Go, take with you ten thousand men of Naphtali and Zebulun, and lead the way to Mount Tabor. I will lure Sisera, the commander of Jabin's army, with his chariots and his troops, to the Kishon River, and give him into your hand. Barak said to her, If you go with me, I will go. But if you don't go with me, I won't go. Very well, Deborah said, I will go with you. But because of the way you are going about this, the honour will not be yours, for the Lord will hand Sisera over to a woman. At Barak's advance, the Lord routed Sisera and all his chariots and the army by the sword, and Sisera abandoned his chariot and fled on foot. But Barak pursued the chariots and the army, and all the troops of Sisera fell by the sword. Not a man was left. Sisera, however, fled on foot to the tent of Jael, the wife of Heba, the Kenite, because there were friendly relations between Jabin, king of Hazor, and the clan of Heba the Kenite. Jael went out to meet Sisera and said to him, Come, my lord, come right in. Don't be afraid. So he entered her tent and she put a covering over him. I'm thirsty, he said. Please give me some water. She opened a skin of milk and gave him a drink and then covered him up. Stand in the doorway of the tent, he told her. If someone comes by and asks you, is anyone here? Just say no. But Jael, Heber's wife, picked up a tent peg and a hammer and went quietly to him while he lay fast asleep, exhausted. She drove the peg through his temple into the ground and he died. Barak came by in pursuit of Sisera and Jael went out to meet him. Come, she said. I will show you the man you're looking for. So he went in with her, and there lay Sisera with a tent peg through his temple, dead. Wow, that's a very uh, horrendous story. A cruel treatment of uh, a fleeing commander. However, it does tell us a few things as we study the word. Number one, Deborah was listening to the Lord. She was able to hear from the Lord and he was able to guide her. Number two, the Lord will use men or women in his kingdom work. So whether you're a man or a woman, God will use you. And finally, we can get teaching from the word as if we get into it. If, we, if we'll only study the word, if we get into it regularly, the Lord will speak to us. 
So I strongly recommend you keep studying the Word, see what God has to say to you, see how He can guide you, see how He can lead you. So if you want to follow the readings with us, just click on the button that shows on the screen there and the next book we're going to be studying is Ruth, another mighty woman of God. Have a great day.